Hey guys, welcome back, man. Welcome to my house. This is New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel, and your home for the best infotainment on YouTube, baby. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's get some shit done today, Richardson, because today I'm going to show you my new utility right here. This is the Galaxy Tab S9. Not the plus, not the extra, not the ultra, not the super fantastic. It's just the S9. And I got this one because out of Samsung's new releases of 2023 in the summer, uh, I felt like the Tab S9 was actually the only true upgrade from the previous models. And I'll, I'll tell you why I decided to personally upgrade from the Tab S8 to the S9. But first, I want to show you some super cool stuff, man. So if you want to come around here, Wilson, I want to show the guys some stuff, man. Check this out. This is this is so clutch. So if you have like a few Galaxy devices, I'm using a Galaxy Book 360 and I have a Galaxy Tab S9. You can also do this with a Tab S8 if you need to, but I also have a Galaxy S23 Ultra right there. Now my mouse is here, right? I'm controlling my, my laptop here. But if I scoot over to the right, I can control my phone too. Let's go to, I use Bing. How many people use Bing? Not too many people, right? But, <laughs> but I got Bing going right there. And then I can control my phone with my mouse pad on my laptop. But if I'm done over there, I can come back to my PC, control that. And then I can scoot over to the left and then I can actually control my tablet, man. Are you seeing this mess, man? Are you seeing this? This is nuts. So let's go back here to where my notes are because I want to tell you three big reasons of why I felt like you should upgrade from the Galaxy Tab S8 to the Galaxy Tab S9. The first one is the fingerprint scanner. I actually do have, let me just close this up. I'll get back to this later. I actually do have my Galaxy Tab S8 here. And check this out. If you've got, so in my personal life, I have a Galaxy Tab um, S8 Ultra, which has uh, an in-screen fingerprint scanner. And my S23 Ultra has an in-screen fingerprint scanner. So I'm used to this type of ergonomics. You just pick it up, you put your thumb on there. If it's on the table, you put your finger on there and you can go. On the, ga on the Galaxy Tab S8, it's right there. That's, that's stupid. Why would they do that? I don't understand why they would put it right here on the power button. So every time you pick up your tablet, if it's in landscape, you have to use your left hand and it's pretty much just gonna be your left hand to do it here. If you have it in portrait, it's gonna be pretty much just your right hand to do it here. And it's gonna be your index finger. It's not gonna be your thumb or anything like that. If it's laying flat, it's probably gonna be your right index finger. So you have very limited choices on how to do this, but it doesn't match up with any of your other devices. Now I could be the only picky person who wants to you know, gripe about stuff like this, but this was actually one of my biggest gripes is where they put the fingerprint scanner. On the Galaxy Tab, uh, S9, it's not here, okay? It's That's an actual power button and it's actually raised up. So therefore you can actually get some tactile feel of where your power button is and your volume rocker versus here, your power button is recessed. So it's not as easily accessible. You'll have to kind of fumble around and figure out where it's at. But lo and behold, they have a fingerprint scanner right here. So I can access it with my thumb, I can access it with my index finger if it's laying down, my other index finger. It only gives you three different fingers to regis uh, register. So I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got my thumb. Let me make sure. No, it's my, it's my index finger. And then I've got my index finger on my right hand and then on my thumb on my right hand. So I have lots of different ways I can interact with this thing. And if I have it in landscape, I don't have to do this. I can just tap and press and bam, I'm, I'm open, I'm ready to work. And as you can see here, reason number two is that it's brighter. We've got an AMO, a super AMOLED two times screen on this bad boy versus an LCD screen on the Tab S8. Now, one of my favorite things that Samsung did is, did is that they didn't really like, like it's like they kind of forgot or just put the leftovers inside of the Tab S8. Now it's a great tablet. I really enjoyed using it for the time that I've had it but it's kind of like the bastard child of tablets in the Samsung lineup of 2022, where they, they didn't give it a good screen. They put the fingerprint scanner on the side and they didn't do this and didn't do that. But on the Galaxy Tab 9 uh, lineup, every, every tablet got the same thing. They got the same treatment. Of course, the cameras are better on the higher tier models, but with the screen, they all got the same screen. They all got the same fingerprint scanner. They all got the same ergonomics and, and hardware and stuff. And they also all got IPX8 or 68. Is it 68? Wait a minute. Yeah, IP68 uh, waterproofing and dust resistance. We'll get into that in a second, but I wanna talk about this brighter screen. Let me take them both 
out of their cases so we can have kind of an even competition here with brightness. Man, let me show you how much brighter, oh my goodness, it is nuts how much brighter the, um, let me put this right here, I'll go to my home screen. Now, we are actually at regular brightness. Whatever Samsung says the, the auto brightness should be at this time, that's what it's looking, that's what, it's, that's what you're seeing right there. So let's turn them all the way up, both of them, right? So both of these are all the way up. Same home screen, same settings, same everything. You can see clearly that this Super AMOLED 2X, what, or I'm sorry, Dynamic AMOLED 2X, you can see how much brighter and vibrant that is than this LCD. So the reason why that was a big deal for me uh, next to the fingerprint scanner is because when I sit here and work, I usually have this tablet right here as a piece of paper. So once I'm using it on my tablet as a piece of paper and I'm writing my notes and stuff, a lot of times, you know, the, between the glare and, you know, if it's an LCD screen, if you angle it, you kind of just lose your brightness and you really can't see much at that angle as I'm writing and stuff. But this one, it's not happening, homie. You just turn that on and you got brightness for days. Look at that. Look at the difference in that. And I'm at the, you can see the same brightness at every angle. So I can clearly see what I got going on here. So that was a big deal for me when it came to the decision to upgrade or not. Now let's get to reason number three, because that was another big one, man. <laughs> reason number three, with my old Galaxy Tab S8, I had it in the book cover here, right? It was kind of, you know, it's just what it is. You know, I got it in the book cover and that book cover would only let it sit in landscape and you know, this is just for pretty much viewing purposes because I don't use the keyboard on this bad boy. I just needed it for viewing purposes, but I did say I like to use it as pretty much a glorified notebook or a piece of paper that never ends. So I would love to have it in portrait and that is not gonna cut it for me. So we're done with that, okay? We're just done. We're just done. We're gonna smack on this Galaxy Tab S9 smart cover. Look at this. Just snap that on like that. This is the this is like the back half of the cover. It actually has a front panel that snaps on just like that. And yes, it is smart because it will turn your tablet on once you've um, opened the cover. But it actually has this tab right here and kind of an origami style kind of mechanism in the back to where it kind of unfolds. And then you can have it in two different positions. So it unfold there and it's in portrait mode. Look at that. It is effectively in portrait mode. And then, there we go, it's open in portrait mode. I can even write on it. It is stable enough for me to do some writing. So that's really nice to have. But in the event I choose to be in a landscape, I'm there and I don't have to do anything special. It's just so versatile and I love having it this way, particularly for the reason of portrait mode. And why this hasn't been a thing yet, I don't know. And just in case you're trying to get slick and say, okay, I have the Tab S8 and I want to uh, try the, the smart cover on the Tab S8. It's not gonna work for two reasons. One, the magnet, uh, the magnets on here are just positioned just slightly differently than they are on the, uh, the Tab S8. So it doesn't really lock in and stay. It'll stay, but this top half is gonna flop around on the Tab S8. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you real quick because I know some of y'all probably don't believe me. I know I got a mess going on here, but this is live action, man. You wanna see it in real time, don't you? So right now I've got it on the Tab S8 and you see how this is not even, yeah, that's just not working, okay? So that's not gonna work. But you can also see from back here, Wilson, that the cameras are different. So on the Tab S8, we have this uh, elongated camera, whereas on the Tab S9, we have a just a circular camera, right? But if I pop this little pin holder out, you can open it up and it will fit in there. But once again, you got this thing just flapping around. So it does kind of stay on there, but it's not gonna be as effective as you need it to be. And if you kind of mess up and see how it's not even sticking real tight, it's just a weak connection there. So don't be trying to get slick and use the, the, the Galaxy Tab S9 smart cover on your Galaxy Tab S8. I tried it, it's not gonna work, homie. It's just not gonna work. Let me see, which one of these tablets do I have in my hand? Okay, so this is the Tab S, um, S8. I need to figure out what my third reason was. Oh, it was the smart book cover, okay? <laughs> That's what That was the third big reason, is because I wanted to use it in portrait mode while I was doing my, uh, doing my work here. But there's something here I want you to notice, man, before we go outside, because I did want to talk about this screen some more. 
on the pin. Come around here, Wilson. I need to show you this, man, because you probably didn't know this either. Now, I got to make sure I get the right pin. So the Tab S9 pin is this one. I just know that just because. But they go right here. As you can see, as I remove the pin, you got this flat, almost glass-like surface on the Tab S8. And then on the Tab S9, you have this kind of crevice or almost, oh, it just kind of fits in there like a little pocket, right? But the magnets feel significantly stronger on the Tab S9 than they do on the Tab S8. And they, they just lock in a little bit better. And that's gonna be a big deal for a lot of you, especially when you're using a cover or transporting this thing, because a lot of times you'll end up bumping your pin off by accident. And sometimes you won't even know, and then your pin is like lost in your bag or somewhere, and you don't know where your pin is. The Galaxy Tab S9 tries to make sure that that never happens. That way you can always keep your pin. By the way, this pin is also IP68. So you can actually just take this out to the pool or you know out to the beach or whatever. I wouldn't suggest like salt water, but fresh water, you're pretty much covered as far as dropping this thing or you know getting some splashes on it, even if you're gonna be using your pin out there. And speaking of outdoors, let's take a little trip outdoors, man. I wanna show you how this thing works outdoors as far as like having the screen on and stuff because outdoors with the Galaxy Tab S8 is just not gonna work out for you. But on the Tab S9, yeah, it's gonna work. Hey, Wilson, what's, what's taking you so long, man? I beat you out here, man. I want to show the people what's going on with these tablets and how one screen is significantly brighter than the other. All right, so right now in my hands, I got the Tab S8, okay? This is going to be, you know, regular outdoor use. Let me open it up with this fingerprint scanner. So you see that right there, right? Let me put this one down and then I'll get the Tab S8 or Test 9 open. Man, I can already see it's brighter. All right, so this is auto, well, that's auto brightness, right? Auto brightness has got the thing turned all the way up. Now there's gonna be a lot of glare here. Can you see how much brighter the Tab S9 is than the Tab S8? Man, this is completely usable outdoors. Whereas the Tab S8 is just almost not usable outdoors because once you have the glare in there and then this dull LCD screen, it's almost unusable outdoors unless you're looking at something with a white background. But if you're gonna be using the Tab S9, you got this is almost indoor usage. I mean, this is totally usable indoors. You could watch some content. Let's go in here and find my favorite YouTuber. Where is he at? Let's look, let's look it up. Uh, new stuff TV. Let's find my favorite YouTuber. Oh, there he is. That's, that's, the, oh, I like this video he did. Look at his dog right there. Is that the same dog right there? I think that's Raylan. <laughs> All right, I'm just glad of y'all, man. So let's talk about battery life. Let me turn this off real quick. Let's talk about battery life real quick. So I wanna say the battery life is slightly improved, but in a way I think it is significantly improved because I looked at the usage of screen time and it looked like I used the screen time on the, on the Tab S9 just a little, well, not even a little, a lot longer because on the Tab S8, I just had it sitting there. I charged them both up at 100%. I had this one sitting there and the battery drained pretty significantly from just sitting there overnight. Whereas I was actually using the Tab S9 and they had the same battery as far as percentage left, but I had actually used the Tab S9. So I would say the Galaxy Tab S9 is, the battery life is just, it's a lot better. Let's just say it's a lot better. Can we, can we just say that? And then as far as performance, I really haven't noticed any, you know, performance enhancements or anything like that. I don't really use my tablet and push it to those limitations with like gaming and stuff like that. So for me, the performance has been the exact same. Uh, for you, you know, your results may vary, but I think the performance is, it's good on both. It's actually great on both. I don't have any of those kind of complaints. But other than that, those are my reasons. Those are my big three and then plus some bonus reasons why I felt like it was necessary for me to uh, upgrade from the Galaxy Tab S8 to the S9. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I needed that fingerprint scanner and that much brighter screen. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.